What is going on out there in YouTube land? I'm Walter Jones and I'm Jones for a Criterion sale from Barnes and Nobles, 50% off. Man, that title's super long. So I just got back a little while ago from the Barnes and Nobles sale. It's the first time I've actually gone into Barnes and Nobles and done the sale. It's really the first time I've done the sale. So uh, I had a pretty large list of probably 10 or 11 movies. I, uh, I lowered that down because I want to stay under a certain amount of money. Because even at uh, half off, once you know, once they they start adding up, so uh, got seven titles here total, and I'll show them off to you right now. So the first one is uh, Spine number eighty four, and it is Ozu's Good Morning. I watched this before, and I just I fell in love with it. What a great post war Japanese film about two kids who want a TV and uh, farting. So super highbrow humor there. <clears throat> This next one is spine number 134. That is Hexen. Uh, I've actually never seen this. It's from 1922. Clocking in at 105 minutes. It's black and white and tinted. It's a silent film with Swedish interludes with English subtitles, whatever that means. It's a documentary, Sado documentary on witchcraft from 1922. Looks pretty interesting. I've always wanted to see it. So, next one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Spine 228, and that is Onibaba. And I've been wanting to see this one for quite a while, too. So, 1964, 102 minutes, black and white, Japanese with English subs. Uh, never seen it, but look at that cover. That's just too cool for school. Um, I want to say 20th and 21st Movies was talking about this. I, I, I was watching a video right before I went in there because I got there a little early, like I always do. If you're, if, if you're on time, you're late kind of thing. And uh, this sounded really interesting, and they had it there. And uh, it's from 1937, and it is Make Way for Tomorrow. Uh, 92 minutes, black and white. It's uh, tons of special features. I forgot to be, you know, forgot to show off the backs, but there's special features on that. I'd like to pause, give it a look. Sorry about the glare there. <clears throat> this one I have seen. And I enjoyed it, and I finally, finally decided to pick it up. And it is spine number 565, and that is The Great Dictator with uh, the amazing uh, Charlie Chaplin. Great film, great speech at the end. Not that I'm spoiling too much. The last uh, single title I got was spine number 586, five, and that is Island of Lost Souls. 1932, 70 minutes, black and white. Uh, this has... Uh, Lugosi in it, and I watched this a, a long a number of years ago, and I really enjoyed it. So glad to have it to be put it on the shelf uh, behind me here. So they had this here, and this was, you might have saw as the side of it, so you might already know what it is. Uh, I did an interview with Celeste Del Cabra last night, and I asked the question: What if you could only pick one Criterion movie? to suggest to pick up at the sale that is this month and <laughs> i i took the suggestion to heart so there it is look at this thing look how big this is i mean it, like it's it's monstrous ah see what i did there so here let me fill up the frame with this thing so there's top of the book i mean this thing is huge it's like as big as my torso and uh this was a uh, a bit the retail was two twenty four ninety nine, so I paid fifty, uh, fifty percent off that. And I'm gonna, just gonna run through the, the fifteen movies that are on this. Uh, the original, excuse me, fifty four Godzilla, nineteen fifty five's Godzilla raids again, nineteen sixty three's King Kong versus Godzilla, nineteen sixty four's Mothra versus Godzilla, nineteen sixty four's. Ghidoran, the three-headed monster, 1965's Invasion of the Astro Monsters, 1966, Ebera, Horror of the Deep, 1967, Son of Godzilla, 1968, Destroy All Monsters, 1969, All Monsters Attack, 1971, Godzilla vs. Ghidoran, 72 is Godzilla vs. Gigan, 73 is Godzilla vs. Megalon, 74 is Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, and 75 is Terror of Mechagodzilla. So this is a huge, monstrous box set. By the way, it's spine number 1,000. So uh, so that's my that's my 
uh, Criterion Barnes & Noble 50% off collection haul. I uh, can't wait to see what everyone else picked up. Uh, there was so much there. I, I went to a Barnes & Noble's that was uh, not not my closest one because their selection is pretty not not amazing. So so yeah, so it'll be it'll be fun to add those into the collection, and I can't wait to crack into that Godzilla set. And uh, my wife's was one of her favorite uh, monster creature feature movies, so it'll be fun to watch those with her. And uh, I'm in, I'm actually excited about all the stuff I picked up. You know, um, three of them I've seen; the rest are blind buys, and just they you know they're probably going to be great. <laughs> we'll find out. I'm sure I'll have a review on each and every one of these. Uh, I also plan to do a review of Grand Illusion, which was the Criterion Collection's first title. It's on DVD. It's out of print. Uh, I picked it up at the video store. They have a large Criterion selection, so I'll be doing a video on that probably later today or tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Keep in touch, bell notification, you know, all that, all the, you know the spiel. All right, I'm out of here, guys. I gotta go watch the movies. Later.